Happy birthday, Jesus, and Merry Christmas, everybody. It is a great day. It is. It looks like winter outside. It's not snowing yet, but the day's not over yet, so it can snow. I wanted to share with you guys uh, the real meaning of Christmas, or the true meaning of Christmas, and uh, just have you join along with my devotions today, which is taken from Luke 2. And I hope that we just, out of everything that we do today, that we remember the real reason for the season. And uh, it's Christ and Him giving himself for, us, himself for us. And we should be um, so mindful to give ourselves to other people. So, here we go, Luke 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was first census that took place when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in the clothes, she wrapped him in cloths, and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Um, it's pretty cool that we get to celebrate a day like today. I used to be um, not a Scrooge, but I just didn't really enjoy the day. And my sister played a really big part in that. Um, she was always excited about it and pretty much wanted me to be excited too. And when I started to realize how much God and God means to me, um, it just became very clear that the season is not just about getting stuff. It's not just about what can, oh no, the, the Christmas rush, what can I get for other people? Am I done with my Christmas shopping? Am I, am I done with this? Am, am I going to be able to eat this? Um, it's so much more than that, and it's just, uh, it's just an honor to be able to celebrate this day. So, with that said, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. I hope this day stays blessed for you. Find somebody to help out today, because there are a lot of people who won't be able to have the same Christmas that we have, but they can still have the joy. So, um, Merry Christmas to you all. God bless.